If you're currently using an older version of Google Analytics on your website, it's important to note that your Universal Analytics properties will stop processing data in July 2023. Therefore, it's important to shift over to Google Analytics 4 as soon as possible so that you can continue collecting and measuring important analytics on your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm going to share how you can simply shift from Universal Analytics to the new Google Analytics 4 by installing Google Analytics 4 onto your WordPress website in just a few simple steps. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Google Analytics, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and start collecting your WordPress website's data using Google Analytics 4. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do is shift away from the older version of Google Analytics, which is called Universal Analytics, over to Google Analytics 4, which is the analytics of the future. To do that, what you want to do is head over to your browser and type in analytics.google.com and that's going to take you to your dashboard. Now, if you currently do not have Google Analytics installed, for example, maybe you don't have Universal Analytics installed and you do not have Google Analytics 4 installed. In that case, if you have no Google Analytics installed on your website, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the process of installing Google Analytics for the first time on your WordPress website. However, if you already have Universal Analytics, the older version of Google Analytics, installed on your WordPress website and you want to shift over to the new Google Analytics 4, then this tutorial is for you. Now, we're not actually going to delete the older version of Google Analytics. All we're going to do is add the new version as well as the older version. That way, Universal Analytics will continue collecting data all the way up until July 2023. However, it's important to install Google Analytics 4 beforehand so that your Google Analytics 4 can start generating data. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that now. Okay, so once you've arrived inside Google Analytics and you have the correct account selected, simply navigate down to Admin. Then simply navigate up to GA4 Setup Assistant. Then simply come down and click I want to create a new Google Analytics 4 property. And what Google Analytics will do is create a Google Analytics 4 property based on the Universal Analytics that you currently have installed. So go ahead and click on Get Started. Then come down and click on create and continue. Then simply navigate over to go to your Google Analytics 4 property. And as you can see, this is your new Google Analytics 4 property, your connected Universal Analytics, which is the older version of Google Analytics, property remains unchanged. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do is navigate back over to home and click here. And from the admin, what I want to do is show you how to find your data stream so that you can install Google Analytics 4 onto your WordPress website. Okay, so once you've arrived at your home dashboard, simply navigate back down to the left hand side and click on admin again. Then navigate over to data streams. And this is the data stream that we just created. Go ahead and click on the data stream and then simply navigate down to Google Tag and then come down and click on View Tag Instructions. Then simply navigate over to Install Manually and then come down and copy this code snippet here. This is the Google Tag that we want to install into every page of our header element. What we can do is head over to our WordPress website. Now it's important to note that if you want more control and advanced measuring capabilities, what you want to do is install the Google Tag Manager and use the Google Tag Manager with Google Analytics. However, for most small businesses, local businesses, this method is sufficient enough. Okay, so like I mentioned, once you've copied the code, head over to your WordPress backend. Then within WordPress, navigate over to Plugins and click on Add New. Then navigate over to the search bar and type in Insert headers and footers. 
then simply navigate down and locate WP code insert headers and footers. You can see that this plugin is by WP code. This plugin has over 1 million active installations with five star ratings. Now it's best practice to back up your WordPress website before installing any themes or plugins into your WordPress website. This is in case a plugin or theme clashes with your other themes, your other plugins, which can cause your website to go down. So again, it's best practice to back up your WordPress website before installing any of your plugins. Then navigate over to install now and click on activate. Then once you've installed the plugin, simply navigate over to code snippets, come down and click on header and footer. Then simply navigate over to header and go ahead and paste in that Google tag. Then simply navigate over to save changes. And congratulations, it's as simple as that to add Google Analytics 4 into your WordPress website alongside Universal Analytics. So what you want to do now is navigate over to your website. Then click through some of your website pages so we can start generating data into Google Analytics 4 to check that it's working. Then what we want to do is head back to Google Analytics 4 and then exit out of these instructions, then exit out of the web stream details and then head over to home. It's important to note that it can take up to 24 hours for your data to appear in your analytics. However, you can see in the last 30 minutes, we've had one user and that is me. So what I'm going to do is navigate over to view real time. And then here we can see users in real time. If I navigate down, you can see views by page title and screen. And down here, you can see that I navigated to the home page services and contacts page. So we can now see that Google Analytics 4 is working as well as Universal Analytics. And now when your Universal Analytics stops processing data in July 2023, then you can be rest assured that you'll have data being collected into your Google Analytics 4. And it's as simple as that. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Analytics 4 tutorial for WordPress. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.